Hi and welcome to Text Nation TV, episode number 29. My name is Rusty G. I know. And this week we've got a lot of things to talk about. Mobile World Congress, Nokia, Comcast, T-Mobile, social messaging all over the board. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright, like I said, my name's Rusty G. Hi, Alan. And the first thing I kind of wanted to talk about this week was iPhone 5, and it's going to be short and sweet. Uh, next year, or this year, October. That's it, <laughs> basically. It's, it's going to be the same from here on out, because yeah. iPhone 4S needs to have that one-year life. So unfortunately, we're not going to see a June-July release. Any wacky leaked photos? No wacky leaked photos like for the iPad 3. Yeah. Uh, all we know now is the iPad 3 is going to be March the 7th. Yeah. Uh, we don't even know this is going to be released that day. We just know it's going to be announced that day. Um, and, and we talked about this on the other show. Um, we think that it's going to be LTE um, on Verizon and AT&T mm -hmm. both. Uh, again, like from last week, uh, not Sprint because that's white max. But anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for iPhone 5. Just look for it in October. But coming up, just around the corner, as you're probably watching this, Mobile World Congress is going on in Barcelona, Spain. What's going to be happening there? Well, a lot of announcements, mainly Microsoft, mainly Nokia, some of your biggest, you know, uh, mobile, you know, names, Motorola now being Google, so Google yeah. will probably be there. Um, but one of the biggest things, I, I read this earlier today, and we read this before we got on, and I thought this was kind of awkward. Nokia. Uh, one of the largest cell phone makers in the world who is slowly tanking with their newest phones and things like that. Yeah. They, and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna read this, and it says, Network Gear Builder Nokia Siemens and mobile chip maker Qualcomm will hold a demonstration at next week's MWC show that promises to double 3G speeds. Yeah. How would you like to double your 3G speed? Yeah, any speed would be good. <laughs> It's going to be called HSPA Plus Multiflow. This tech allows devices that are close to the edge of the mobile base station that it's connected to via a cell with a second adjacent base, uh, an adjacent base station. This will result in two simultaneous data streams into one single user device rather than from a single base station. So you're talking about triangularization from the yeah. late 90s. Yeah. Here's what, what 911 uses to track a cell phone. Yeah, here's, here's the thing that I have trouble with. You're, you're allowing for two cells, we'll say our two lights here that you can't see, are our cell towers and we have a cell phone. And since cell phones have been born, we've only been allowed one stream. And then yeah. when we switch, it goes to the other stream. Analog, yes. When we crossed over to digital and GPS, now our phone, like I said, can triangulate between at least three towers. That's why we don't roam anymore. Remember roam? Oh, jeez. The upside down triangle? Yeah, yeah. That and it cost us $19 per minute on the, on the phone. Yeah. I, I just I just thought, as, as I read that, I was like, that's a new thing? Why weren't we doing that back in the 90s to triple, you know, double our speed then? Maybe they thought we forgot. I don't, I, maybe this is an AT&T thing, because at and is big about, you know, making us... Oh, we forgot about that. But anyway, I, I, I don't know. I just, But Nokia will be one of the largest uh, vendors there at Mobile World Congress. Check it out. I'm sure it's mobileworldcongress.com or something like that over in Barcelona, Spain. And if you are in the Barcelona area, make sure you stop by because it will be a lot of large announcements. Microsoft, Nokia, Google, again. We'll be in the parking lot. Right by the, uh, I don't know, ice cream van? Not selling ice cream. Gelato. There we go. I like it. <laughs> and in other news, Comcast, uh, for a lot of you, are is a internet provider for you. Mm -hmm. It is for me, not for you, you're AMT and T something or other. I don't know what you are. You're DSL. Yes. Okay. So, but anyway, Comcast is looking to fight Netflix. Well, here's the thing I have a problem with. Comcast is looking to start what they call stream picks to counter Netflix. Fine and dandy. The problem that I have with is, don't they already have this? It's called video on demand or just on short on demand. Don't they already have this? Stream picks. When I hear the word stream picks, I think of a, an online photo album. <laughs> Nothing I, about that says I can choose my own movies. Yeah, yeah. Netflix, Flix is a movie. Net is the internet. Exactly. It makes sense. Quickster was stupid. <laughs> We're not going to go to that. They took care of that. 
What? Quick picks? Uh, stream picks. Whatever. <laughs> stream picks. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just... The, here's the thing. It's going to be $5 a month for access for any of you cable subscribers unless you do the triple play, which is the internet, home phone, and cable service of some sort. So it'll be another additional fee on exactly. top of uh, On Demand. and. But if you look at it from the standpoint that their marketing is, mm -hmm. Netflix is $7.99 a month. Yep. Comcast is $5 a month, $4.99. If you're already paying for Comcast Internet and you're paying for Netflix, you kind of, you know, it does kind of even out. I get the marketing point. It's a few dollars cheaper. Mm -hmm. But I thought that's what On Demand already was. I, I, I don't know. I Until I hear more about this. Unless their library is a lot better than Netflix. I will say, Comcast, NBC, that whole merger thing, mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure they have everything under the sun. And to compete along with, I, you know, the you know iTunes and Netflix and Hulu Plus and you know all of those out there I mean don't get me wrong I do like choice so maybe this will be another choice mm -hmm. that maybe I don't have to have Comcast cable but I can have that Comcast internet and this on-demand service yeah probably not but uh, it's it's just another choice but some dreams can't be denied <laughs> Moving on, some of the latest news uh, from last year, actually. If you remember, we actually talked about this last year about this time. Mm -hmm. AT&T had said, we're going to buy T-Mobile for, I can't remember, $39 billion, I yeah. think that's what it was. And if it doesn't go through, which we know it's going to go through, we'll still pay a, we'll still pay a large amount of money to T-Mobile. Yeah, that didn't happen. It's mm -hmm. obviously over by now. AT&T is now having to pay three billion dollars to T-Mobile, who unfortunately doesn't have a real 4G network. Hmm. So what Lord, could fund that 4G network? Hmm. We just got three billion dollars from freaking AT&T. That's awesome. So now, it, was this in the plan for T-Mobile? Did T-Mobile think this through and go, yeah, we know it's not going to work, so we're going to get money out of this anyway, you know, or did AT&T would just overcompensate and was like, yeah, we got this, we yeah. got this, you know? Uh, I don't know. T-Mobile, as of last quarter, lost 800,000 customers. 800,000 customers. That's a lot of customers. They all thought they were going to be AT&T customers. <laughs> we told them they're going to be AT&T customers. <laughs> we did, didn't we? Uh, sorry about that. So if you know we're big with the T-Mobile <laughs> subscribers. Exactly. So sorry about that. But yeah, ugh, they're actually in the middle of trying to block... Uh, the Verizon plan purchase of the extra uh, additional spectrum that's about to come available mm -hmm. uh, from the government. So that's a whole other thing. They're trying to build their uh, LTE network because they had no plans to. Now they got $3 billion in the bank. Let's build it. Hey. So anyway, moving on to the last story. Now I want to kind of spend a little bit more time on this. And you and I had spoken about this because uh, we use a lot of different apps to communicate besides mm -hmm. SMS. The story was actually on CNET News. It's social messaging costs carriers $14 billion in SMS review or revenue, I'm sorry, says a certain firm. And basically it talks about how SMS, which is short message, short messaging system, which is your regular text, mm -hmm. is losing money. Yeah. And do you know why that is? Because we should have never been charged for this service in the first place. <sighs> Jeez, you are correct. Once we bought the unlimited data, we shouldn't have had an extra charge for text messaging. Yeah, we found out we don't need to pay for a text messaging plan. Right. It started out at ten cents, and it may have been even cheaper than that. But that's what I remember was ten, yeah, 10 cents, cents a message. Yeah. yeah, incoming and outgoing. Yep. Yeah. And then it turned out to be twenty five cents later on. I think Verizon raised it, and then AT and T, and you know, it just kept going up and up because you know they were saying, "Oh, the rising cost of blah blah blah." And it's like, yeah, no, right. they sold money. That's money. Yeah, people were text messaging a thousand, two thousand teens, big. You know, so there's some um, people you can't reach by phone. They don't answer the phone, but if you send them a text message, <laughs> they appear. So, being the fact that these big mobile markets are losing money. What are they losing money to? It's companies like... Us. <laughs> uh, companies like Viber, uh, which yes. I, I've recommended several times. If you've ever never checked it out, check it out, Viber.com. Download it for your Android, Blackberry, and iPhone, I believe all three. 
It's a text messaging app that allows you to text via the internet mm -hmm. versus using your text messaging system. Also stereo calling. Yes, if you've ever wanted to hear a better uh, phone call, listen to a Viber call. You know, get a friend, get Viber on your phone, get Viber on their phone, call each other. It's great. It's seriously a lot better than your standard cell phone call over 3G and probably even 4G. I haven't really tested 4G as far as clear signal. But yeah. uh, there's also other companies out there, and Apple even saw into this, and even with the latest iOS update, iMessages. Mm -hmm. You have to turn it on and you have to volunteer yourself for it, but it sends messages over the internet, pictures, videos, text, it doesn't matter. You can get it all you can get via it the your web. Mac, your iPad, yeah. your iPhone. Well, not your Mac. <laughs> not, not, not my Mac. But any Mac that's upgradable to the latest Mountain Lion, unfortunately. Uh, what was what was you said the next one's gonna be? Alley Cat? The Alley Cat, yeah. Yeah, so either way. But yeah, uh, there's also other text messaging apps like Byte SMS. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, if you don't do the SMS thing, you can also, you know, Facebook Messenger. Uh, there's AOL. I'm not, I think AOL still uses their instant messenger. <laughs> you can use that through. I'm sure MySpace has, if it's still, you know, alive enough, has some sort of messenger. There's all sorts of internet messaging systems yes. that beat having to pay the $25 or $30 for unlimited messaging. The, the, the problem is everybody's still kind of stuck on text messaging. So as a base point, I would like to say personally for Text Nation, I prefer that you find some other app. If you have an app that we didn't mention, mm -hmm. I would like for you to go down below in the comments, tell us what it is, tell us why you like it, and you know, tell us all the doodads about it. Does it do pictures, does it do video, does it do whatever. I mean, even Tango, it's not a text messaging app, but it allows video calling yeah. over 3G for Android, again, for Android and iPhone. And now they've even added video messaging. So it's like, you, or I say video voicemail, I'm sorry. It's like leaving a voicemail, but with a video and you can yeah. send it to you. So even T-Mobile for crying out loud, T-Mobile has their, and I can't, uh, bobsled, I think is what it yeah. is. You can use uh, Facebook Messenger, Facebook Connect and things like that. So. Also, if you ever worked in construction, or if you remember that little area when everybody had an, uh, who, Nextel. Nextel, Nextel yeah. was the company who brought pretty much, um, tweet, push, tweet. push to talk, a chirp. Yeah. Apparently that's coming back. I'm not happy about it, but <laughs> uh, the company Boxer is uh, bringing now a, it's a, I guess a more of a 21st century kind of uh, walkie talkie yeah, I've heard about this. I, I, it's it's still a walkie-talkie. Yeah, but it like by SMS, if you know when your text message comes, you can have your a photo. So if Rusty sends a message, I can have a photo. Rusty will be in the corner and the message. This here will have their photo as well. With what I'm showing is text. I don't know if it. I haven't had a chance to test it out, so I don't know yeah. if they've sent that text and then they're. That's yeah. how they call each other. Um, well, it looks like they've got a little audio. Uh, which we'll put that photo. We'll yeah, you'll see it right here. Uh, you'll get to see Holden talk. They got text, photo, yeah. Holden talk. So, from actually what I've heard, I actually have a coworker who has a daughter who's 17, I think. Mm -hmm. And she's like, this is big with my daughter. My daughter talks about this all the time. So, being the fact that I'm almost 30. Uh, well, other people are want to get a piece of it because they're at a, a $300 million valuation right now. Wow. That's amazing, and why have I never heard of this, and why are we not investing? It's walkie-talkie. Uh, <laughs> I hate the chirp. I don't yeah. know about you, I remember, you know, back, not too long ago, but you know, you walked through the mall, and <laughs> and a dad was yelling at the, uh, the wife because they can't communicate each other face-to-face, -face, but they gotta <laughs> yell, what did you need? And they would do this. <laughs> another thing that annoys me people I see it today with cell phones yeah I, I don't know what it is and even I, I'll tell you this even the owner of this studio <laughs> does it himself so either way um, yeah so I'm gonna say if 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 you can go Voxer if you can go Viber if you can go Facebook Messenger if you can go bobsled if you can go bite SMS anything I'm gonna say text nation is all about freeing you from doing text messaging and people always ask me and because I've been fighting with a guy at work who will not absolutely whatsoever turn on iMessage and he has an iPhone with iMessage, mm -hmm. iOS 5. 
He will not turn it on. I don't understand. I'm like, it does it for you automatically yeah. if the other person on the other end has an iPhone or now OS X and it's free. Why not turn it on? Because I have text messaging. Well, you pay for that. Well, yeah, I get unlimited. Well, how about you not pay for unlimited? Find all your friends that use, you know, that either i iMessage or find another app. Mm -hmm. There's there's plenty of apps out there. I just I just want to get rid of the thirty dollars that we pay for unlimited text messaging. So I just I just want to get rid of that. So as Text Nation stands, I'm all for free text messaging. Yes. So, but that's it for this week. That was episode twenty nine. You can follow us online. Occupy the text. Exactly. <laughs> you can follow us online, youtube.com slash TV, twitter.com slash TV, or follow us at TextNationTV. TextNation.tv yes. and facebook.com slash TextNation. Make sure you like us, add us to Google Plus at... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to make a bit.ly link for that. You can search for us on Google Plus by name. Basically, everything that's on Facebook, I put on Google Plus as well. They're kind of mirrored, so if you're not on Facebook and you're on Google Plus, you'll see the same exact things. And if you're on Google Plus and not, you'll see the same things on both sides. Make sure you check us out. We'll see you again for episode number 30. Wow. Big 3-0. We're getting there, so we'll see you there.